So mass spectrometry is a technique that can identify complex and extrusive chemicals based on their molecular mass. It's mainly used to determine the presence or absence of certain chemicals. DESI stands for Desorption Electrospray Ionization Mass Spectrometry. DESI is a, a mass spectrometry technique that's able to image the surface of a tissue. But unlike typical imaging devices based on fluorescence or photography, DESI mass spectrometry is imaging the tissue based on molecular mass. It's able to determine when certain chemicals are high or low in different pieces of tissue. So if we think about how pathologists evaluate cancer specimens at the moment, it's looked at under the microscope by a pathologist who looks at features of the cells and how they interact with each other and decides whether there's cancer or not. It doesn't tell you much about the molecular biology underlying those cells, what their genomic changes are. There's been a big move over the last few years to drill down on those features, mostly using RNA and DNA genomic testing. One of the exciting things about mass spec-based approaches is that we can measure all of the chemicals that are present in a given cell or group of cells, including cancer cells or benign cells, and understand in a kind of holistic way what the functional status of that cell is, what it's using for energy, etc. And a lot of research over the years has shown that cancers use different chemicals for energy than benign cells do. There are theories that this utilization can actually starve immune cells surrounding the cancer and prevent those immune cells from recognizing and responding to cancer properly. We now know that the immune system is an important mechanism for preventing cancers from growing or spreading. So the way DESI works uh, is that it is non-destructive, so we can actually take that tissue and analyze it by gold standard pathological uh, detection methods at the same time, uh, so that we can evaluate the accuracy of uh, the DESI technique in comparison to other techniques. The DESI is going to be able to profile a broad range of chemicals all at once, and this may be able to provide uh, greater biological information about the tissue all at the same time, rather than a tissue having to undergo multiple phases of testing. We can start to make signatures that distinguish healthy from disease tissue, in this case cancer from benign. And because we overlay the chemical fingerprints with the kinds of things that pathologists are used to using for diagnosis, we can develop these signatures in a confident way to understand exactly which cells are making which chemicals. And we now have a system where we can build an encyclopedia of disease using DESI on well-characterized tissue. We have done some preliminary work just to ask the question, is DESI robust enough to trust it for this kind of a program of research? Can we get the same results on a Monday as we do on a Tuesday? Can we use robust statistical analyses to make sure that we're getting reliable data? If you're sampling at a sub-millimeter scale, can you get useful information? So we've completed a study to show essentially a yes answer to all of those things. It's early days, but I think it's promising.